Hey, what's up all my Scorpios? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, so this is a general reading. So now what? What now, right? Winter's over um, and we're going into a new season. So I wanted to give you guys this reading. So to start off this reading, my uncle gave me a book called uh, Thinking and Destiny by Harold Walden Percival. It's like an esoteric book. Um, and I just pulled a zodiac sign from my little box and then I just went to a random page. So one thing that was interesting is um, you guys were number two. Um, but when I went to do Aquarius, which was number four, I landed on the same page as you. So I had to select another page. So I don't know if you guys are dealing with any Aquariuses or if you have Aquarius in your chart, then I suggest that you flip flop the videos, watch the Aquarius video so forth or if you're dealing with Aquarius whatever the case may be but um it said it was section number 25 so I don't know if 25 is significant or the number seven it breaks down to seven but it says self-suggestion internal use of passive thinking examples of a formula so what I broke down that what I broke that down to after I read the passage was um being passive versus reactive and i have comments anyone with a question mark um i feel like maybe sometimes which how it was worded was like maybe you give me unnecessary um advice or make it unnecessary comments um where you should be passive and not necessary. Sometimes people just need you to listen versus being reactive. Um, so basically balancing the two out, okay? So again, this is a general read. It may or may not resonate with you. Check the other placements in your chart. Um, I just came back from New Orleans, so I'm gonna use this cool Pirates deck to give you guys an overall um, three cards for overall energy of this reading. And then we'll use some of the other cool decks that I just got and we'll get this reading cracking, okay? Remember, tarot card readers are like advice. You either take it or you leave it. So give me three cards for my Scorpios. Yeah, this is everybody like, okay. You are like the third time who got this card. It's the Six of Cups in reverse. And it's always coming out in the same position. I've shuffled these cards several times. Then you have the, um, the High Priestess. Give me one more. I feel like you are really, uh, some of you guys are just ascending to the next level. All right, gave me two. So you have the magician at the bottom. All right, and what came out is the hermit and the captain of coins, which is the king of coins in reverse. I know these cards are a little shiny. I feel like you've had an encounter with somebody in your past. Like, I feel like and they just came out of nowhere. Like, you could have saw them when you were walking out on the street, out and about, um, out having drinks. But it's like you just ran up on this person. And with the high priestess here, I really feel like you guys know... Um, You guys have, have tried to be passive. You guys kind of know certain things about certain people. You guys might be spiritual in your own sense. And especially with the hermit here, I feel like maybe you guys have very valid dreams or you see things that um, happen before they happen. I feel like I, I get a, a sense of somebody taking advantage of your um, kindness. And and using and using your kindness as a weakness against you. And people want to somebody wants you to hold you accountable for something. With this uh king of coins, this captain of coins in reverse, look at how they're holding that that pinnacle. This may be um like your boss at work. Like somebody wants to hold you accountable for something. But let's see, let's get some clarity on this. I'm going to use the um, Tower Takeover deck. I got it from Etsy. Any decks that I use, I always put in the description box below of my readings. 
if you guys had any questions. So for my Scorpios, we're gonna clarify the Six of Cups in reverse. So like watch your drinks. If you go to a bar, if you go to the club, watch your drinks. Just don't let somebody, um, I think I said that came up in another reading. I wanna say uh, Gemini. But don't um, just sit your drinks down. Look at the sun, beautiful energy. Because when everything around you feel like it's in chaos, it's like the sun is, is waiting to come out. Like the sun, I hear Annie, somebody, uh, Annie might be specific to somebody. Um, but um, this person, you can't trust this person anymore from your past. They've disappointed you so many times before. They probably promised you things like a family. Look at the Wheel of Fortune in reverse at the bottom. And things just kind of basically fell apart. Like, I see a lot going on here. Like, it, things just kind of fell apart with this person. But it's like the sun will come out tomorrow. Like, even though they may have hurt your feelings, um, you probably uh, went into this, like, um... I'm not going to say depression, but uh, you kind of went to yourself for a little while. So you can kind of rethink, readjust, and, and go from there. Let's clarify the sun. Again, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, and so it's like it, I see you rejecting this offer and another love offer coming right up. And, this, and I also see uh, when you reject this person's offer, like I, I, I low-key see them throwing a fit. literally throwing a fit they're like hey no wait a minute what do you mean you don't love me what do you mean you don't want to be with me exactly what i said fool i don't want to be with you all right let's clarify the high priestess the queen of cups in reverse yeah i see that you being emotionally detached from somebody the four of wands yeah so i'm telling you if you can detach yourself because you know you already know you have that intuition don't forget to use your intuition some of you guys may uh feel like it's it's, it's time for you to go um on some type of diet maybe you feel like you've gained weight especially during quarantine like you've been trapped in this this house for so long and you may have gained a couple pounds um but understand that uh i would take action now and not wait till it gets too out of control but with this four wands here i just feel like even though this didn't work out but you already knew it wouldn't work out so when this doesn't work out like uh, there's another situation that just happens just like that clarify the hermit the ace of wands that's what i'm telling you something just comes out of the woodwork like you trying to be alone and then i feel like some of you guys are tired of being alone well uh, the, it's like 50 50. some of you guys are tired of being alone and the other people uh want to be alone and it's like for the people that's tired of being alone it's like all of a sudden like somebody just trying to hand you some dick they just trying to give it out to you it might be more than one person uh what's that uh chris rock he told this joke and he was like, you know, uh, late, I know the ladies be worried about us every day, but we need to be the ones uh, worried about our damn girls, our wives, because every time a woman goes out, she's, she's getting dick offered to her. Every time a man opens the door, he'd be like, you want some dick? Every time, <laughs> like it literally, no matter what, you want to be my friend, you want some dick, like anything a man asks, he was basically saying that it corresponds to you want some dick, okay? So it's like, it's like you're getting all these offers out of nowhere. Look, the King of Cups is at the bottom too. And this is like, this is female energy, even though it says the King of Cups in this deck. So I feel like for some of you guys, you might have all types of people coming at you, no matter what sex you are, no matter what your sexuality is. It's like, everybody want a piece of the Scorpio. Mm, okay. Clarify this Ace of Wands. Or you, if you the Scorpio male, like you just giving out dick. I'm gonna be honest with you. Look, three of wands in reverse. You giving out a whole lot of dick. Even if it's one, to one person, like you giving it out. You laying it, like, I, 
the headboard is hitting their head. They, they keep hitting their head on the headboard. And then they pass out. <laughs> but be careful. Um, you swing so much dick. The Empress is here at the bottom. You could make a baby. Clarify this captain of the coins. The strength card. Yeah. You need all the strength that you can dealing with this uh, captain of coins. I mean, every single bit. You need every single bit of it. Because at any point, if you let off of this lion, it'll get out of control. And I feel like you are the one that needs to put, you are the one that needs to, you are the one to put them in their place. Whether it's a boss, a friend, a lover, this captain of coins, that's just, nah, put them in their place. But choose your words carefully. Because the strength card is here, right? And this is Leo energy. But also, that strength card is basically saying, like, you know, you can uh, uh, you attract more flies with sugar than salt, okay? With the four pentacles here. And the four of cups on the bottom. I see, I see some of you guys walking away from a certain job, a certain position, and getting a new opportunity. I, I feel like some of you guys don't even give a damn if um, you have to take a pay cut or take a. Um... Oh, so you, some of you guys don't care if you have to take a pay cut. You just want to be happy. Others of you, what really stirs you up is if you're boss tries to cut your pay i see some people giving you more responsibility but not giving you more pay but it's a way to ask this is not the time to be aggressive this is the time to be passive aggressive because i feel like you're not going to be the only one that's going through this period so if you just wait it out other people uh will come to your aid or other people will uh complain or report so you won't be alone but just you gotta kill kind you gotta kill kill them with kindness all right so um next we're gonna look into your money your love and your family. So I'm gonna get one card for money slash career for my Scorpios. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. And it said, it's expired. You're not giving somebody something like the time of day, money, like maybe you are supportive of somebody, a friend, and you're no longer like buying their products or something, but like you are really, you have really cut off somebody or something or certain spending habits, which is allowing you to retain more money, especially if you're just trying to save. It's not a bad thing to stop giving and stop doing things for people. Cause first of all, people gotta be able to help themselves. It's like two homeless people on this card and this person is, is giving all of this money giving their heart out right yeah nah and you're like bro bro like come on now clarify this six of pentacles I, I can only give i hear you saying or the other person i can only give so much like you gotta at least have time for yourself sometimes you guys feel like you don't have time for yourself especially at work all right this is too many Give me one card to clarify. Oh, okay. <laughs> Five of Wands. And let me tell you what it says. All right, pussies. Quit your fuck about with those dick sticks and focus your googly eyes. And look at everybody. I feel like somebody has wandering eyes. I feel like maybe some, I, I see uh, sexual harassment at the workplace inappropriate inappropriate um some comments that somebody make or will make to you will make you feel very uncomfortable and, and, and inappropriate it's so inappropriate i almost wouldn't be surprised for some of you guys that somebody actually touches you and it, it shoots you off the rocket and you give them a piece of your mind but remember watch what you say because you don't want them to be able to counteract with something else because they are in the wrong right just like this uh captain the coins they are in the wrong 
All right, so let's get uh, a card for your love for my Scorpios. Oh. You got the uh, Eight of Pentacles at the bottom. Uh, diligently following orders for the Dark Lord. And I feel like some of you guys are tired of working for your boss. Like your boss is the Dark Lord. Like they are the devil. They evil as hell. You feel like they give you hell, bro. <laughs> All right, so for love, you got the chariot, which says Brad the manager is the name for the chariot. But he says, meet my kitties with titties, Uber and Lyft. I can't make these cards up. They're crazy as hell. And then you have the lover's card, and it says, ooh, on the bottom. So it says, um, the angel in the background is saying, I told you to pick where you want to eat. Then the lady says, "Yeah, but when I chose for bread and fruit, you could have you couldn't have told me it causes love crushing flatulence." And the dude was like, "What? That's the same thing I said. What? I feel like maybe somebody somebody has some un instead of going with the flow with the chariot, somebody always has like these preconceived ideas. Oh my god, your singles read. It's not a Valentine's Day read. It's just." I did those for Valentine's Day, but there's a singles read and it's like something along the lines of like, who cares what shoes that they have on? Like basically like having this preconceived idea about love, like um, you want this person to be on your level when they, they're they not, you know, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. They were just either raised differently. So I really get a, a sense of having an open mind when it comes to love because um, every nobody's perfect. You're not perfect. You're, they're going to see some flaws in you. Um, but I just feel like you need to uh, more so go with the flow and keep an open mind. And don't mind, I see interracial dating. Twice. So some of you, some of you guys might be in an in, interracial in relationship, and some of you guys are, are catching some type of backlash from it, or it's a different relationship, or some of you guys are um, LBGTQ, um, and maybe your family doesn't um, approve of them. But there's four wands in the background. Let me pull a, a lyric out the lyric box. Let's see what lyrics you guys get for love. You got two. What are they? Ooh, division, POV. I don't like when you stress, but I love when you take your stress out on me. And you know that I like those tiger stripes. Come put those stretch marks on me. Mm. Like this person doesn't really care. That's why I said they don't care about your flaws. You care about theirs. Male, or if you're a male or female Scorpio, like I get that totally. You're more so um, hell bent on the image, the persona, but anything dealing with you, they love everything about you. They they really don't care about um, the image, right? As long as like they still feel like you're attractive, like come put those stretch marks on me, okay? Some of you guys may have kids, like I said with that Queen of Cups earlier. Some of you guys may feel like you have gained a little bit of weight and stuff, but you're the only person that's subconscious about it. Your boo ain't. They think it's sexy. It's that natural cellulite and not silicone, okay? You got cellulite, not silicone, honey. All right, so do you have Destiny's Child? Say my name. Okay, honey. It says, say my name, say my name. If no one is around you, say, baby, I love you. If you ain't running game, you acting kind of shady, ain't calling me baby. Why the sudden change? Say my name. Um, that kind of energy, I, especially with this, I get that um, uh, somebody may be overbearing. Like they may want, they may be, uh, I, I want this time. I want this. I want this. I want that. I want you. But I don't feel like maybe some of you guys may be in a, a newer connection. So maybe it's not time for somebody to feel like they um, should tell you their every move. Or you may feel like that about somebody else. All right. So let's get one more card for your family. Give me one card for my Scorpio's family situation. Oh no, these are way too many. Way too many. 
Okay, it still gave me a lot. All right, the Eight of Pentacles ended up the bot ended up at the bottom. It says Helicopter Parent of the Year Award. <laughs> All right, but what fell here was the Tower card in reverse. It says, "Bam, bitch, that tower was full of black mold and cocaine, thieving ghosts, anyway." And then the two of pentacles, it said it came out sideways. It literally landed sideways on the ground. It says, this is so boring. Should, uh, I should go be a pirate. They got googly eyes too. See, I tell you this wandering eye situation or somebody in your family. sexual assault. That's why I said that sexual harassment. Let me get one more card. It's like I get a sense of I don't know what to do. Like there may be somebody that you need to be able to try to uh, why are these cards falling on the floor like this? Eight of Pentacles are still at the bottom. All right, so you have the ladies man, which is the top boy of the crybabies, the king of cups. And then you have um, the empress. I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Um, if you guys are, I feel like your parents are divorcing. If they are already divorced, I feel like it's going to be some type of uh, confrontation. And it's about money, about either one of your parents, mom or dad. And I feel like somebody felt like that. I feel like somebody got caught. Like, oh, shit. Well, I didn't think that you would be able to catch me up. Right? Look at this person. Oh, shit, I got caught. It's two people. They not mad that they got caught. They done did some stupid shit. Two people. And it's funny because it's like, it should be a good pirate and I'm using a pirate decks. It's over there by a king of coins. Like, it's somebody is trying to keep some type of money, some type of funds. And I really feel like I, I picked that up on um, a Scorpio reading that I did before. But you have this eight of pentacles at the bottom of the gear, of the bottom of the deck. And I feel like somebody's gonna realize everything that their parent has done for them. Like, I feel like somebody may have some uh, preconceived ideas about their childhood growing up and stuff. But once all of this shit hits the fan, then they realize what type of mother, what type of father, the parent that's surviving or the parent that they stay with, they're going to realize how much that parent put into them. How much they invested their time, their life, their love. They, some, some of you guys realize that your childhood wasn't as bad as you thought it was. All right. So uh, let's see what um, I'm going to use the, we're at 23 minutes. So I'm going to use the, um, after tarot deck to get uh what do you need to know what do my what do my scorpios need to know give me three cards you have the nine of wands somebody has your back that's what you need to know that's why i said you're not alone especially with this situation at work you are not alone three the queen of wands i honestly do see somebody getting another opportunity new job new dick New man, new woman, new, new, new. And the hair font is in reverse at the bottom. I think you're you're done with a certain type of um, institution. You feel like you have been institutionalized and you're ready to break free from it. You've already broke free from it. You're already emotionally detached. I feel like a lot of you guys are already looking for something to do, something to move on to. You're no longer faithful to the things that you were faithful to because they weren't faithful to you. 
as I say that the four of wands is at the bottom. Somebody wasn't faithful to you, whether or not it was this co-worker, these bosses, whatever the case, they weren't faithful or friends or family for that matter. With the nine of wands, you got the five of swords in reverse, being passive, not aggressive. <laughs> and not passive aggressive. I'm literally saying be passive, not aggressive. You can go far and you don't want to look like the person with the anger problem. Because I feel like if you don't wait it out, if you don't, if you let this get the, get the best of you, then you're literally going to lose your shit. Clarify the Queen of Wands. The sun in reverse. Like, you just waiting on your happiness. You know that. I feel like I want to tell you that the universe is saying that your days are numbered here. Not on earth, not death, but your days are numbered in this situation. You're about to see the light. You just got to wait. That's why I said just wait a little while longer. The hair front. Yes. It's like, I really feel like they're even going to try to get you to stay. If you have a job and you're trying to leave it, they're going <laughs> to... They go send you an email or some shit. Be like, nah, look, hey, can we come up? I can give you the hell. Oh, shit. They might try to offer you like a, a, a way higher position just to keep you in the company. Because you're that good. Because they like, look, we'll give you everything. We'll give you your own desk. Your own this, your own that, your own this. You like, mm, nah, I'm not satisfied. You still, and, and it, what is go, what's gonna happen is, it's gonna put you in a position. I feel like it's all gonna happen at the same time, right? With this uh, Ace of Wands here at the bottom in reverse. I feel like you're gonna have to make a decision about this because as soon as you decide, hey, I'm gonna move on from it, which is why the Six of Wands and the King of Wands is sideways. I really feel like you're you just don't know what direction to go. Cause as soon as you make the decision, like like you get an offer, I feel like once you try to put in your your retirement, your two weeks or whatever the case may be, they're gonna come back to you. They're gonna be like, um, uh, we want you to stay. But it's up to you. It's your own free will of what you want to do. What are my Scorpio's next steps? The Four of Cups in reverse. And it's so funny because I see you saying, hell no, I don't want that. Look, the tower card is here again. It's a sudden change. Let's clarify this tower again. Clarify the tower. It's a sudden, sudden change. It's the three of wands and three of swords. I feel like this is something that's really going to hurt your feelings. It's bittersweet. I feel like you get conclusion, uh, not conclusion. Yeah, you get some type of conclusion or clarity or um, closure. Conclusion, clarity, and closure. That's what you get out of this tower moment. What, what is this? What is this? Is this work? What is this? I feel like this is some type of relationship uh, with the two of cups in reverse is some type of relationship, some type of, um, problem with a friend, but the ace of pentacles came out. That's why I said after the smoke clears from this tower moment, um, everything sees so much clearer now. So all I, all the universe is saying to do once this tower moment happened, pick up the pieces and move forward. That's all you can do and build a newer, stronger foundation because whatever broke down wasn't solid from the, from the beginning. Clarify the um, Four of Cups, the Queen of Cups. She came out this way. Yeah, that's why I said, don't be so mean. I just get you being mean. Give me one more card for uh, the next steps. King of Pentacles in reverse. It was at the bottom of the deck. Now it's coming out. Sometimes, okay. So, I feel like you need to know 
uh, that's what I said, passive versus aggressive. You need to know when to be aggressive when it comes to your money, this new career, because it's going to seem like it's overbearing, it's overwhelming, but I guarantee you're going to have to make a decision with this lover, lover's card at the bottom. You're going to be like, you know, do I stay, where the money reside, where, the, where does the money reside? That's where you're going, you're going where the money reside. I see them wanting you to stay at your job if you're you're quitting a job or something or you're putting in your two weeks, but I don't see them being able to match the dollar amount. They'll set the page of wands in reverse. Yeah, they trying to come tell you like, you put in your counter offer and they like, nah, we can't do that. It ain't nothing but the fucking devil temptation. It's something that's holding you back. You got the five of cups and the devil here in reverse. I feel like if you stay, you'll be miserable. With the eight of cups here at the bottom, you're ready to move forward. You already know what you want your life to look like. But unfortunately, these circumstances, something is keeping you there for a reason. And it may be because of this tower moment right here. All it's doing is like, hey, stay here for now. And then once this tower moment happened, I'm about to clean this whole slate. It's like you're going to have a, a new life. All right. So um, I'm going to pull one card out of the messages from your spirit and all guys. Oracle deck. Ooh, these cards are really weird. Come on. Okay. So you have Emu and Ladybug. So Emu says this is a good time to go on a new adventure. And the ladybug says, this is a time of good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all good things in your life. I feel like I, good luck, right? So I'm not going to read the whole passage for each of these since you got two cards. I'm just going to uh, read the key words. So Emu, it says, completion, freedom, innocence, action, attentiveness, roaming, wanderlust, adventure, pilgrimage, restlessness, proactiveness, exploration, lightheartedness, and playfulness. And Ladybug, it says fertility, renewal, regeneration, rebirth, faith, family, Mother Mary, abundance, hope, meditation, prayer, dedicatedness, uh, delicateness, joy, and fearlessness. Yeah, like, just going for what you know. But like I said, like, I feel like these are two different animals or, you know, creatures on the spectrum. One is this big-ass bird, an emu. And then the other one is just a little small ladybug, right? And I feel like you guys have the ability to take on these different shapes. You know how to play it safe. But you also know when to speak up and when to wait. If this is sexual harassment, I suggest not to wait. That's when you need to be aggressive. That's when you need to go to HR or whoever you need to go to. Don't let people touch you inappropriately, say inappropriate things if you are uncomfortable. You know, that's why the Me Too movement is so big because we're not, my mom, my family, my aunties, my sisters, they taught me, don't let anybody, I mean, I get it, it's fear tactics, it's, you know, all these type of things and thoughts that the victim goes through. At the same time, I feel like those people who wait so long to get that off of their chest, it puts them in this state of depression or a state of um, wondering or it, it hinders their relationships or, you know, their love life. It's so many different things. But I honestly do believe that once this tower moment happens, just be passive, not aggressive. Passive, not aggressive. All right, y'all. That's the message I have for you guys, Scorpios. Um, 
yeah if you guys need anything let me know please comment let me know what's up please like share, like share comment or subscribe to my channel okay it's getting late y'all i'm still over here doing these readings i'm gonna do like two more i'm trying to finish tonight but either way uh, i appreciate y'all for y'all time thanks so much and i'll see y'all next time